Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the formal proof of theorem 12 and theorem 12 is stated as let ABC be a triangle if the line L is parallel to BC and cuts AB in the ratio S is to T then it also cuts AC in the same ratio. So what we're going to do is start off by drawing our um, diagram and this is always linked to what we're given in the question. So in this theorem we're given a triangle ABC and we're also given a line which is parallel to BC, so that's going to be the line XY, and it cuts the line AB in the ratio S is to T. And in this question, we're trying to basically prove that uh, we know that we're given in the question that when we divide up our line AB with our uh, parallel line XY, that it cuts it in a ratio S is to T. So S is to T is along there. So we basically want to show that the other side of the triangle, the line AC, will also be cut up in the same ratio S is to T. So we're saying that the length between, the distance between AY compared to YC is equals to S is to T. So for the construction part of this proof, what we need to do is we need to imagine dividing AX into S equal parts, okay? Now obviously that's not a set amount, okay? So what you're gonna do on your construction with the ruler is make sure it's parallel to BC and you're gonna draw, I'm not using a ruler, okay? But you're gonna draw some parallel lines across like this. So you need to imagine like you're dividing that up into S equal parts. And then you're going to do the same idea between XB, again parallel to the line BC, and you're going to divide that up into T equal parts. So again, parallel lines coming down along there. Again, this is just more the image of it rather than us doing it accurately, okay? Because we are dividing it up into a variable amount of parts. So that's your construction done. So for our proof, what we're going to say is that based on theorem 11, which is um, the one we would have done in our previous video, the parallel lines cut off equal segments of equal length along AC. Okay, so it's going to, based on what we proved in theorem 11, we can state that, so that the parallel lines cut off equal segments of equal length along the line AC. And we're going to let K be the length of each equal segment. Okay, so if you imagine... K being up here on our diagram being one of these distances okay um okay so there therefore we can say so therefore we can say that the distance between a y is equals to the s multiplied by k so basically remember we divided up into s equal segments and each of those segments is worth k and the distance from y to c would be equals to t times each of those k segments. So therefore, that means that the distance between a y compared to the distance between y c is equals to s k dot dot t k, which again can be simplified because k is on each side as f s compared to t and that's exactly what we were trying to prove at the start of this question was that the distance between a y uh, compared or in proportion to y c is equals to the ratio s is to t and again we can write q e d at the end and we're finished the proof of theorem 12. thanks for watching our video where we proved theorem 12.